Hey, welcome back to yet another video. This time I am going to teach you how to make a simple plot using a simple syntax. I am going to tell you about the bar plot. So let's get started. In my previous video, I told you all about two libraries, NumPy and Pandas. Let's revise. What is NumPy? It is a general purpose array processing package and NumPy can also be used as an efficient multidimensional container of generic data. So let's import our first library. Uh, firstly, I have already stored the data here. When you click on this file, you get a upload to session storage and you click here, then you can access any file from your desktop. Okay, now let's start with the coding. Firstly, I am going to import the NumPy library. So, import NumPy as np. Now, second library is Pandas. I had already told you about Pandas. It is the most popular Python library which is used for data analysis. So, import Pandas as now, thirdly, we are going to learn about the Plotly Express library. So, Plotly Express library contains function that can create entire figures at once. So, it is a built-in part of the Plotly library and the most recommended starting point for creating most common figures. So, let's import Plotly library. So, import Plotly dot express as px. Now let's run for running. We can use either on the runtime or we can press shift plus enter. Now let's give a name to our data frame. I'm giving name gift to my data frame. And now the syntax for reading our data is df is equal to pd dot read csv and our file name that is in most visited countries dot csv now let's run it now we want to see our data frame that what columns does our data frame contains so let's use df it will help us to see all the all the columns which are present in our data now next we have to make a bar plot so syntax for a bar plot is you have to use the name whatever you have used to import your plotly.express library as here i had used px so i will write px dot bar as we are going to make a bar plot so px dot bar we will name our data frame we will give the respective name whatever we have given to our data frame i had given df so we will write df here put a comma and now we have to give the x and y axis so on the x i want my country names to appear so i am given country name in the x now i want my y axis on the y i want to display the visitors which visited the respective country so on the y i give the name visitors now i want to add different different colors to my bars so i am using color is equal to i want to display different colors so i am giving color the name of the country name so whatever country name is there each each and every country will have a different color so now let's write country name and now i i want that the text text means the total number of visitors that visited a respective country should appear on the top of the bar so i am writing text is equal to visitors now let's check that we have written the correct syntax and given the correct spellings or not. So, px.bar df 
x is equal to country name, y is equal to visitors, color is equal to country name and text is equal to visitors. Now just shift plus enter and let's see that our code runs or not. And here we have a bar plot on the top 10 most visited countries in the world. As we have written here on the x we wanted our country name. So on the x axis we have country name. On the y we wanted the total number of visitors that visited the respective country in million. So we have on the y axis the visitors. We wanted the color of the country names. So the color is different. So here are different colors and you can see here on this side whatever country is given a particular name color that bar appears here so as france is given a blue color so in our plot also the france has blue color and after that the text is equal to visitors we wanted to display the total number of visitors which visited the country at the top of a bar so it is here now let's match that does the total number of visitors match to our data or not so let's see that visitors for france are they matching yes they are so this is a bar plot and it is a simple syntax for making a bar plot so i hope you all must have got a glimpse how to make a simple bar plot and after watching the video just go and download a simple data set try making a bar plot and if you face any challenges or any errors you are always welcome to message me in the comment box and you can share the link of your notebook so this is all for this video thank you and bye bye